Hello and welcome back. What I'd like to do now is to remind you how to take control of your well-being with reference to omega-3. Now there are many things that you can use which will reduce inflammation. Let me explain. If you have health here and you have disease here, in order to get from there to a disease where the body isn't at ease, you've got to go through inflammation, signs and symptoms, and then you will get the disease. There are other phases, but those are the main ones which I'm sure you will understand. So my question always is, is to find the etiology or root cause of what has compromised your health. However, if you are a mum-to-be, or if you are pregnant listening to this recording now, if you are not already doing this, um, again, it is an invite for you to do your own research, and I would ask you to certainly consume fish, not your tuna, or the big, or any other big fish like swordfish. Wild Alaskan salmon is good, last remaining fish that I know on the planet that doesn't contain mercury, cadmium, heavy metal and other PCBs. Mackerel, um, sardines, the smaller type fish are best. However, taking a teaspoon of this, now this stuff, and I'm not into you buying any specific type of brand, this is the stuff that I buy. Eskimo 3 oil also contains natural vitamin E, so it's not the DL uh, tocopherol, it actually is the mixed type and I think there's like diff eight different um, strands from alpha, beta, gamma and all the rest of it in it and that's that's the natural stuff that's in here. It's also got the right ratio of DHA and EPA. Again everything in our life is about balance and the way it's processed is not using high temperatures so that's the reason that I personally um, take one of this uh, teaspoon of that with my food, it's like my medicine every day. Now the research shows that if you would like to reduce your chances of, say, giving birth to a child, if you're a woman, with type or becoming a type 1 um, a diabetic, then that is essential, okay? Also, research has shown that type 2 diabetes, which is the adult onset, which means that you basically, you create it yourself through poor lifestyle choices, is not only preventable, but also reversible, and there has been a 74% increase in type 2 diabetes from 1997 to 2004. Hello, McFly, what are we doing? And when, when you look at it, obviously it's down to our poor lifestyle choices. So simply by making a few distinctions in your life, and you'll need to look at some of the previous recordings that I've done, interrupt your pattern, do something more empowering, and make a distinction in your life which will improve your quality of life and then you can show others how to do that. Remember, I can't give what I haven't got. I can't fix my hybrid Prius any better than I could fix somebody else's. But what I would like to do is to remind you what is likely to go on. Just imagine that you and I are both skilled mechanics. And let's say we go to Toyota and they've given us all the parts so we can put together, let's say, a Toyota Prius. So we go into the workshop, we've got all the tools, and everything's laid out, and off we go. Me and you working together as a team. Remember? Together everyone achieves more, there's no I in team. So there we are, working together. And then as we put the car together, we realise there's one or two pieces missing. And when we've finished, from the outside it looks great, because the car's complete, it's finished, it runs okay, it's alright. But if you and I looked under the bonnet, we would know that actually the water bottle holder isn't there, and so therefore we won't be able to clean our windscreens. So if we're driving on a muddy road, or we're on a motorway, or a highway or something, and spray is coming off, we won't be able to properly clean our windows because we won't be able to get access to the water bottle because there isn't one. Now, the car still runs okay, apart from that. It's only a minor point. Liken that to the body. If you are a mum-to-be, or if you are pregnant, and, you're, and you have a deficit of many micronutrients, but let's just go with the uh, omega-3, then there is a higher percentage chance that you will give birth to a child that is deficit in that and it may then become a type 1 diabetic. So quite simply by taking a teaspoon of this you will reduce that chance but also realize that there are many things, ginger, turmeric, Himalayan salt, just drinking enough water, all those things will help reduce inflammation. Remember health inflammation, signs and symptoms, then you get the disease, the body's not at ease. Why? 
because of the lifestyle choice that you've made or choices. So that's just a simple one for you to um, quander over. And like I say, don't buy into anything I'm telling you. Find out if it's truthful. But I do know that as well as there, as Disraeli says well, there's always lies, damn lies and statistics. I can honestly say it makes sense. And if you read, read Mike Adams' website, Natural News, or even go to Dr. McCullough's website, you'll be able to find your own information. And that's what I've kind of filled this with, because with more knowledge comes a greater sense of response able, responsibility. And that's why I've created this YouTube channel, so that you people can start to take control of your health. Now, if you look back on our history, as in our genetics, then those of us that live closer to water, we would have been eating fish anyway, and, and seafood, which contains a great amount of omega-3, and get that in balance. Because if we haven't got the three and the six in balance, Houston, we've got a problem. And also nine. There are others, but those are the, the three main ones. But that would depend on where you are located and what your body requires. Because if you think about it, although you and I are mechanics and we can fix or create a, a Toyota Prius, there's BMWs, there's Hondas, there are many different types of vehicles, just like there are individuals. But what do our cells require? This is where you've got to listen to your body. Hopefully that makes sense to you. And may I please invite you on that journey. If you are a mum to be or you'd like to, to um, become pregnant, then prior to that, because it's really down to the mother's health, start taking something like this um, or find your own brand. Thank you very much for listening. And I wish you a fantastic day. My love to you all. And bye for now.